I've seen this uh, question a lot around YouTube. It's how to feed African dwarf frogs. So it's a pretty simple process. Um, first step first, I don't suggest feeding them this because it doesn't seem to work very well. Like, I, I put it in next to my frog. Sometimes they go up to the top. They don't have to seem any interest. It seems like the fish like it more. I'll show you an example of that. I just put a few flakes or uh, pebbles in. And as you can see, see, he wasn't going after it. He was going for air. And as you see, the fish ate it. So this way I found is pretty easy. You just get some tubaflex worms. You can find these at your local pet store usually. And just take a good size piece out. Let's um, we'll just use this piece for example. And um, so you can feed them individually with smaller pieces, but I just have them all bite off of it. So you have gotta make sure you get it on correctly. Don't want it on too. Um, you don't want to have it on too much so it falls off. So here, yeah, let's see. Just put it gently put them in front of them so they don't get scared. And as you can see, he is eating it off. It's that simple. Some fish will try to go for it. It's not a big deal, but you just gotta keep putting them in front of them. And he enjoys it. Like I think this is the especially for this frog, he's kind of uh chunky and has trouble getting up sometimes, so I don't see how those pellets would help that fact. You can see he's chewing off of it. You can feed your frogs once a day, every two days, because there's other food in here that they can eat. But make sure that you have this on good, because it will fall off. There's the other frog trying to get some action. Uh, see, that, you know, sometimes they will fight, but... It's all in good love. They won't seriously attack each other, but. You see, the fish enjoy it too. And let's make sure this one gets some. Can't forget about him. He's taking some nibbles at it. And there comes that platy again. Oh my gosh. Plot, yeah, this ha it happens. And the frog didn't... There he goes. You just leave the stick in here. You, oh yeah, you need a stick type thing to get... To put it on. You see, he's enjoying it. You can somehow, like, if you can position this downwards without it floating up. That's the problem I have is it just floating up. Or maybe like squish it against it. Or put it over here. You, you can. And there's Gil. He's wanting some more. Oh my gosh, Gil. And yeah, so this is just a way I say you should feed your dwarf frogs. Because it's real easy. It's, it always works. Is what I've seen. The fish love it too. And if you ever want to just get rid of it on a stick, you can just shake it around. It's sure it does make your tank messy, but all the fish, the frogs can eat it too once it hits the ground. Oh, that fish just... Yeah, and it works every time. There is one more way you can do it is that you can, if you have guppy fry or any live bear fry, they will eat them if you leave them in the tank. I don't do that because it's kind of cool in my opinion, but. So yeah, that is a way to feed your African door frogs. I hope this video helps you. If there's any questions, comment them down below and I will be able to assist you. Good day.